Humber Athletics began the 2022-2023 season with another successful fall campaign, capturing 11 OCAA and 7 CCAA national medals. Returning to normalcy after a shortened season last year, the Hawks continued its athletic dominance both on and off the field. The fall season was filled with record-breaking performances and numerous program firsts as the Hawks extended their streak of capturing a CCAA National Championship to 16 consecutive seasons. Let's take a look back at Humber's fall teams. The Hawks captured the pennant for the third time in program history, concluding the season with a 17-1 record. Humber Baseball would go on to win the OCAA Silver Medal, finishing on the provincial podium for the seventh consecutive season. Humber's regular season dominance saw second-year head coach Troy Black earn Conference Coach of the Year honors, as Coach Black moved into second all-time on Humber's career win list. Transfer Brandon Deans dominated on the mound for the Hawks this fall, setting the conference record for strikeouts in a season and in a game. Deans, Skoropatsky, Zwartz, and Hibbs combined to throw the program's first seven-inning no-hitter against Centennial. Aiden Murphy was the best two-way player in the province this season, finishing second on the team with 18 RBIs. The Brampton native also threw a no-hitter in his first career start and didn't allow a run in 17 innings of work during the regular season. Under the guidance of second-year head coach Scott Skimming, Humber Cross Country continued to take big steps forward leading up to Provincials in Thunder Bay. The women's team returned to Provincial action with an eighth-place finish led by Sofia Vatsa and Hannah Broman, who finished in the top 30. Shorthanded for the OCAA championship, the Hawks men's squad put together a gritty and intense race to capture the bronze medal and finish on the podium for the first time since 2016. Four runners finished in the top 25, led by second-team All-Stars Mason Bizwas and Javier Sandar. It was a rebuilding year for the Rugby Sevens program, which had previously won three of the last five provincial titles. The young squad narrowly missed out on the playoffs for the first time in program history, finishing sixth during the regular season. Rookie Jada Fowler led the team in scoring with 32 points, while senior Renee Bowen was named a league all-star for the first time. Humber softball finished the season with an 18-6 record, recording double-digit wins for the 10th consecutive year. The Hawks captured the OCAA bronze medal, finishing on the podium for the third straight season. Becoming home run U, the Hawks once again led the conference with 24 long balls, as Alexis Ferreira and Jessica McPherson finished in the top five in the conference. Ferreira became Humber's all-time home run queen with 14 career bombs, while tying the single season record with 32 runs scored. Hannah Koziolik now sits first all-time in stolen bases and seventh all-time in career RBIs. Megan Muir was once again brilliant in the circle, earning a championship all-star nod and now has the lowest career earned run average in program history. Humber Rugby finished the regular season in fourth place before falling to Sheridan in the OCAA postseason quarterfinal round. Rookie Tomiko Smith was named a league all-star, finishing second on the team with 15 points. Third-year flyback Abbas Popple was named an all-star, leading the team in scoring for the second straight season. The Toronto native now sits ninth all-time in career converts. A new era began for Humber soccer as Jose Caro took over at the helm for his first season. The Hawks finished the regular season without a loss, capturing the division title as the highest scoring team in the West. Humber's magical run continued into the postseason as the one-trick ponies escaped the semifinal round against Niagara. Alyssa Oliveira's brilliant free kick equalizer tied the match in added time, 
followed by an assist on the game winner from Caitlin Russell in extra time. The next day, the Hawks blanked number two Seneca in the provincial finals, capturing the program's first OCAA title in a decade. Two heartbreaking losses in penalty kicks at Nationals ended Humber's brilliant run, leaving Quebec with a fifth place finish, its best placing since 2010. Senior Remy Pelletier concluded her career earning Defensive Player of the Year honors, finishing fourth all-time in career matches played. Rookie keeper Isabella Bernardi was a brick wall all season long, recording nine clean sheets, including four in five matches during the postseason. Caitlin Russell added to her stellar career, earning all Canadian and OCAA West Division Player of the Year honors. After two seasons, Russell now sits fifth all time with 32 tallies. After seeing their streak of 24 consecutive OCAA podium finishes end last season, the men's golf team responded in a big way this fall. The Hawks fired their third lowest round in program history at Provincials to capture the OCAA silver medal. Rookie Daniel Talmage captured the individual bronze medal while Trey Ross and Matthew Bremer finished in the top five. After winning 10 national titles in 12 years and becoming Humber's second superpower, the men's squad captured its first CCAA championship since 2012. Matthew Bremer became the program's seventh individual champion and the first since Adrian Cord in 2011. Talmaj continued his impressive freshman campaign, capturing the individual bronze medal. Trey Ross narrowly missed the podium with a sixth place finish as all three players were named CCAA All-Canadians. The women's side was dominant all season long once again, winning four out of five tournaments that they competed in this season. The Hawks captured their third straight provincial title, defeating second place St. Clair by 45 strokes. Madison Ouellette won her first individual title, while Haley McCallum and Elaine Sergio Pajogo finished second and third respectively, as the Hawks swept the podium for the second straight year. At the national tournament in Ajax, the Hawks continued their dominance and successfully defended their CCAA crown. McCallum captured the individual title, while Ouellette won the silver medal. All three players were named CCAA All-Canadians, while McCallum became just the second player in Humber history across all sports to earn four All-Canadian selections. For head coach Nick Trujillo, it was his third title with the women's squad. There may never again be a program as dominant as Humber men's soccer, who once again lived up to its number one ranking in the country. The Hawks ran the table, winning the OCAA West Division title while setting a new conference record with 56 tallies during the regular season. Humber rode its high-octane offense at the provincial tournament as well, rolling number four Seneca to successfully defend its OCAA title for the fourth consecutive season. After cruising to two straight wins at the Big Dance in British Columbia, the Hawks met Seneca once again, this time with a national title on the line. A slow start to the finals saw their title hopes vanishing until Luca Acello found Federico Leal in the box for the game winner in extra time. It was Humber's sixth title during the Coach Aquino era, who improved to 20-2 all-time at the CCAA National Tournament. Senior Luca Acello garnered National Player of the Year and All-Canadian recognition, leaving the program as the all-time leader in assists. Free kick guru Federico Leal retires as a three-time national champion with the Hawks, finishing his career 10th all-time in scoring for Humber. Damian Kay led the squad with 17 tallies this season, while Holger Jameda tied legends Eugenio Garo and Carmen Singh with six wins at the national tournament. Well, that's a wrap on Humber's 2022 fall season. Be sure to follow the Hawks by checking out HumberHawks.ca for your live and on-demand content.